Ooh, nice bot. Now, I'm not being rude. No. I'm talking about your chat bot on your website. Nice chat bot. We are looking at a cool bot, and it's got me quite excited, this one, because obviously before I make these videos, I spend a bit of time learning the software, and this one has left me pleasantly surprised. I'm quite excited. Before we jump into it, get into that description and always have a look and click on the, dem the uh, discount link, because you might look at some software and think, nah, I don't need that. And then you click on the link and you see what the price is for a lifetime deal and you think, I'm having that. <laughs> so always click on the link and cheers for subscribing. It really helps me when you like and subscribe. I'm not one of these people to beg, but thank you so much. Right. It's called What Not? And it's a bot. <laughs> and let's jump in and have a look. You're going to like this one. So uh, it's a bot builder, yeah, and it makes bots. What's a bot? They can be annoying, I know. So obviously, uh, if you work for a company or an organization, they don't have all the time to talk to everybody individually, unfortunately, in the world we live in today. So they rely on chatbots. And I guess what a chatbot does, it tries to direct you to the correct department, or it might actually do the full thing, like what I'm going to demonstrate now. Uh, it can take appointments, it can take bookings, so that you don't have to spend the man hours, woman hours, oh, you can't say man hours anymore, work hours of your uh, staff answering queries when a bot can handle it and at the end like i don't know when i when i go on bots it's like i want to speak to a real person eventually if they can't be sorted by the bot eventually you can go through and talk to a real person and you can do all of this with what not the bot builder right so here we go uh have a look at the screen and you can see it's a bot builder and you type in builder bot why is that funny because i'm silly uh, and you can have an inbound bot or an outbound bot. So an outbound bot will be one you send out with an email, uh, reaching out to your contacts, getting them uh, in an email. Or an inbound bot is where people go to a website or go onto social media and they click on the link and the bot sort of, well, finds out about them and what they want. So we're going to deploy the bot on Facebook. And you can build your bot from scratch. Uh, these are the ones that have been actually picked for me because I told them a little bit when you first join uh whatnot it asks you a bit about your business and what kind of bots you are you know are you an individual are you a company what area of your business is it so uh we could build from scratch and make a completely new bot or like all things start off with the template and change the template so we're going to have a appointment booking so someone's come on Facebook and I'm selling I'm selling advice yeah and you can book me <laughs> for an hour I don't think I'll ever do that and here is the bot and the bot is triggered that's the starting point bot is triggered and here is the greetings now here's the greetings hi my name is Spectre welcome to the Acme bot so hi my name is Philippa <laughs> welcome to the Phil review software PRS unfortunately I won't be able to get that domain name because it stands for the Performing Rights Society Corporation. Um, so there you go. Send us this message. And then you can change it. I'll assist you in scheduling your appointment. And then dates. So so here are clearly laid out. This is your bot. And then you can suggest time slots for them. You can collect their name, collect their email, collect their phone number. Book the appointment and end the conversation. All right. So now we can just... If I wanted to deploy this box, because I'm not going to listen, I'm not going to spend ages now typing in just so that you can watch me typing in and changing the bot. But there's the appointment times. Yes. So there's a list of the buttons that can be shown. You will have to check up, but I am pretty sure that you will be able to link this with your availability calendar. Just check on that. I don't want to say something it doesn't do and then you complain. Hey, I spent money on this and it doesn't do it. But you'll be able to schedule it with your calendar so that when slots aren't available it will block them out and then you can either deploy your bot once you've created it uh, but now i'm just going to test the bot so you can have a look this is how it would work in real life click test the bot and here it is click the link below here is my bot which is at the moment untitled hi my name is philippa welcome to the PSR prs corp i will assist you with scheduling your appointment Please enter the preferred date for your appointment. So, does it give me an actual date there? 12th of August. Ah, that's good, isn't it? 12th of August. 
and I'm presuming it's sussed out that it's the 7th of August and it's not going to book, book me one for next year. Uh, so I'll have the appointment between 2 and 3 p.m. To confirm the appointment, I like this. Some things get me excited. This one does. Uh, my appointment is Phil. I know. Uh, will it ask me for my surname? Nice to meet you, Phil. Oh, I like this. Phil, your bank. Anybody who wants me to uh, demo their software, just email me at Phil your bank, and I will do a demo. As long as uh, you know, we can sort something out. You know what I mean. Uh, lastly, can you share your phone number? And it's it's in English, all right. But you can change it to different countries. I'm not obviously going to give you my phone number, so I'll go. Da -da -da -da. I hope the person who owns that phone number is not going to get a call now. Is it one more? Uh, the appointment has been scheduled. One of our reps will give you a call on the date. Thank you for visiting. And obviously, I should have changed that to the PYB thing. So there's the bot. It's taking the book in, um, and that is cool. Let's just run through the features and just basically go down each thing and briefly describe what they are. The analytics dashboard, obviously mine is showing nothing now, but once you start generating leads and business from your bots, it'll work out how many hours you've saved by not having a real person answering the queries, the cost has saved and everything, uh, how many of the bots get abandoned or how many times you convert and how much money you've generated. So you've got all your stats in there. We'll come back to live chat later. The FAQ builder enables you to build a FAQ bot where people can find stuff and here is your bot builder and that's where all of the bots that i've already built are stored and that's where you can build more bots it does say there as well if you need help with the design of a chatbot um you can actually get someone to design your bot at whatnot i love that name sometimes the names for uh, software companies i think it's so hard these days isn't it because obviously it's 25 30 years into people making software so most good domain names and names have been taken but i like that what not bots i love it um here's the contacts people uh, who have filled in the bots and there are their details we haven't got any yet i've only just filled in the test form your channel configuration is so you can set it up for whatsapp you can set it up for facebook you can set your bot up for sms text messages um, and you can just sort out the general appearance of your bot. So at the moment, when I say it's untitled bot, I'll be able to change that. Um, you know, give it a name. Probably, yes, put an icon on it as well. Just, I'm not going to try that. I will do. I don't really need to do that, do I? Uh, I don't think that'll work. That's a silly ping from something else. No, this file is too large. Silly me. Anyway, edit that bit out. Probably won't bother. Uh, right, and you can configure SMS so it can send the text. So that's that. And finally, the app market. These are other apps that you can sync so yes we are right there so there we go i was talking about so syncing with your calendar if you do appointments and you can sync it with calendly google calendar so yes there will be no problem when people are for example booking appointments that it will block off the times when you are not available we're going to come back to live chat now and this is fascinating we were talking about this before so as people are interacting with your blocks so you can have one member of staff or yourself assigned to the live chat and they can be monitoring the live chats and if somebody is saying speak to an advisor speak to a real person or just through the flow of the bots they need to speak to an advisor or a real person it is easy just to click join the conversation and you can go hi I'm Phil from customer services and you can jump in that conversation and be a real person. So that's good, isn't it? We like that a lot um, because that's how these bots work. You know, you try and save time and business hours, but then eventually they might have to come through to a real person. So that is the live chat and all of your um, all of your conversations as they're ongoing, you'll be able to jump into them there. Finally, down the left, you've got the help desk where you've got all of the articles on how to learn about making a bot. Plus you can request features. They've got their own Mac about what's coming up and what's new in the bot. Here are your settings. So within this, you've got you, but you can add your teams and your teammates and deal with the billing. And you can sort out the settings for the live chat. So human hang handover, when does that happen? So, wow, this is great, isn't it? So that um, we can make it so that when you're out of business hours and there's nobody available, it's not possible to hand over to a human. So the um, bot will say at the end of the conversation i'm sorry but we are out of office hours please contact us and um, the save replies it'll save all of them and well, i'm not sure what labels are but hey right that is 
cool i'm liking this a lot a great place for you to connect your bots uh, there is a bot that i've deployed just sort it out um how do i add so there's the first message if i want to add something else i can add another send message i can add collect input and then i can decide what that input is i am um, so what is your name phone number etc what else can you get them to do um you can put buttons or a carousel show them pictures you can show them the calendar you can make it send an email you can go to human handover this is great connect it to sales for salesforce you can make a service call you can add a delay in there so it asks one question then gives you time before the next questions you can give them a form to fill in whoa 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 uh very very impressed it's called what not it's a bot builder i've probably said that too many times but i like it a lot i like it a lot it's what not the bot builder let's jump out and have my final thoughts on it would i use bot builder i am at this moment this is the truth going over my brain just trying to think how i can use bot builder because i want to use it not really got any much place for it in my business at the moment but wow if you've got a business that deals with customer service this is for you get this bot builder it looks great i've tried to build them before and i really have i'm not just saying that and they were very hard to set up and create and oh and some of the chatbots there was one what was the one i was paying for it was really expensive you know you, you i put it on my website and um i had about five inquiries and afterwards after that i'd used up and i had to spend like 30 dollars a month so it doesn't look like you have to pay like this i think get in that link lifetime deal i always say get in the link just have a look at the link for this you might not need this in your company at the moment but um somewhere down the low line you might do it and if you get it now you get it for the lifetime deal price you'll never have to pay for it monthly though you'll come back in a few months and you can't do that and you end up paying for it monthly so if you think you might use it get it now and save money so i love it uh brilliant bot 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 bot, 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 bot. Oh, got that far brilliant bot builder <laughs> i'll leave that in as well uh and thank you so much for watching my little videos thanks for subscribing as well thanks for giving me likes all those things really do help me and check out the magic link i will see you for another one soon